beta six. So I don't know. I don't so really have. A, would you say like a more of a guy? I guess he's not pillow talking, but he knows he's not in the picture, and he's the the guy in the friend zone, and he's just trying to just like give more input to the woman that like, hey, this guy ain't for you, and try to steer it to me. Like like I've been here the whole time. Like I'm I'm the one that's seen you go through all the heartbreaks and everything like that. The guy that's just pretty much like throwing salt on the other guy's game. Would you call that a beta snake? I hate. Yeah, to get out of the friend zone. Well, I, I like that name. I didn't, I didn't know that that's what it's called. But yeah, I hate those guys more than anything. Like they're literally the worst. Those are the guys that literally get such little pussy. That's what they have to do. And like I just, man, there's there's certain people in this world that just really grind my gears, and that's one of them. Like them, <laughs> the black pill doomers, like the guys that just hate women so much, like the, doomers, the mig the mig towels are just like I'm going my own way. Like I, but. In reality, they're not going their own way because women don't want to touch them. Like it's just mm-hmm. they're like you know the passport bro saying women everywhere else are better. It's like no, you just can't mm-hmm. you can't compete. <laughs> you can't get anything here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're just you, you literally can't compete in the greatest country in the world. And like as, as any of the debates about other countries really bothers me because I really love America. Like I'm a big America guy. Like I'm trying to get into politics and stuff. Like I love this country and I want to make it better. Like I don't believe in leaving. Like we are the last. People don't understand that us having guns here, like, we're the, the last we're free the, civilization. We're the last free civilization. If we fall, it's all done for. Like, mm-hmm. we are the police people of the world. So, mm-hmm. like, it's up to us. Like, freedom, like, communism is so close at every point. Like, the China and Russia and how the government's in Iran, that shit could be here so quick if we if something bad happens. So, it's mm-hmm. like, people really take for granted how lucky it is to be in America. That's why I hate passport. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Real quick, I know. Yeah, I get a lot. I get a lot of flack for all my shit. <laughs> hey, um, hey, that, that that knows you're doing your job. Yeah, for real. Uh, real quick version. Um, are you? I guess, man, pretty much just speak of, speak on where you're at. Uh, pretty much just being in Dallas that that you're seeing. Are, are you are you from Dallas? Have you always been there? Or? Yeah, I've, I'm from here. I've okay. always been here. I'll okay. never leave here either. Okay. Um, that's, how, that's how we feel about California. Yeah, that's how I feel about California. Yeah. Man. Like a lot of stuff that I see <laughs> on all these podcasts, man, and they're speaking on these women, I'm like, man, those, those chicks ain't like, right. I can deal with that shit. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> no, but seeing just uh, being out there, like in the Dallas area, um, women between 18 to, man, I'm going to say 27. Women between 18 and 27, and then you see 28 to 35. Are their mindsets somewhat similar? Because even though they're in Dallas, they all have a cell phone and it goes all over the world and it connects to everybody on the same thing. You probably got a hundred women out of them, seventy five following the same man on online. That this whole trend on that whole blue check thing and then the blue check guy can get any type of girl he wants, fly her in, blah blah blah. It's like, eh. I, I, I don't see it here, man. I'm a California, like I said, Hollywood's around the corner. Like this, uh, this, yeah, I, I, don't it, it ain't, that shit. I don't see none of that too much. I, I see a lot of the dudes leading with their pockets out here, flaunting, yeah, and, and and thinking stuff like that. But out there, like in Dallas, like, do you are the women on the same type of like mindset that you that's like that they say, like on the internet, that this guy is gonna fly me to LA, he's gonna fly me to Miami. And, and I'm a, I'm gonna be partying on Pacific Ocean somewhere. Like like, do they have that same stuff about mindset, or is there, is it completely different? Uh, sadly, um, what I've discovered is Fresh and Fit is right about it. Like they are getting flown out a lot, and I already knew that from the girls that have been my friends for years and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. I already knew that this was happening, kind of. But uh, at the rate that it's going, it is a lot more than I thought. The big thing is like women really value opportunity. So sometimes they're going to take certain opportunities. Like, yeah. um, like, I mean, like we can't even, as guys, we can't even fathom the experience again to go on some type of trip <laughs> that they get to go on, you know? Like, uh-huh. we, can't even, we can't even imagine it, bro. Like, it's, it's really cool. And like, we still got to stand in line. Yeah. And so I wouldn't say it's all of them, but those age brackets that you said, the younger ones, yes. Like, they're still delusional. Mm. There's like, I would say on the show, there's like 10% of girls that are already really like i'd say 10 to 20 percent of the girls are already what i would say are based like they're pretty based in reality they got a good idea of you know like like what the truth is i guess you could say like they're a soft red pill or something Mm -hmm. and like everything i say they kind of shake their head like yeah i kind of understood that like yeah i agree yeah you know and then and then like of those girls like um 
or like and then other girls that change and they learn something like i would say very few girls change their life from the show but like i just want to be honest yeah, and say okay. that okay. like I, like a lot of the girls might agree with me and be like oh yeah like this is really good i want to come back and all this stuff how many of them well, actually go and change their life that's right. right when they right when they leave they go back to the same way they were yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine, nine yeah. times out of ten, I would say ten percent of the girls are gonna like come to this show, and it's gonna affect them a little bit. And I'd mm-hmm. say one percent, one or one to five percent are gonna get a good ass relationship because of what they learned, you know. And I'm I'm happy with those numbers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. I'm man. very happy. Yeah, with that's very yeah. hard to change anybody. Uh, yeah. You change yeah. one person, that's good. I I treat it like a church. Like and I like I'm very like I used to be a super strong Christian back in the day. So like I kind of see this as like my secular way of trying to. Um, bridge the gap between like the red pill community and like the faith community and like if if i could if i could teach these women to you know these things and i i, I could change their life they'll go to other it's like the pay it forward thing like they're going to go to their friends that are single and be like hey come on this show like you might learn something you know and like slowly this is something that could grow and like change people you know in my eyes that's the way i see it yeah for sure um your message, I see, like, you're really into, like you said, like, you want the women to kind of, like, wake up and actually utilize their time better. Like, pick the better guy and stop wasting body counts and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. What type of message are you sending to men on your podcast? Like, like you see these women on my show. You see I'm giving them pointers. I'm, I'm trying to wake them up. Like, what, what are you doing for, like, the men-wise? I, I want them to also be so like I don't want them to be spinning plates. So not celibate. Like I don't want like the guys that are in and stuff to sit there and saying that. I want them to get out of the house. Like I'm about to start a program soon, and it's all going to be about like my game and stuff and what I've done to be able to be more social and meet people and stuff. But like other than like doing something like that, like if you're one of those guys, I don't like the guys that are alphas and they're spinning plates hard. Like I said, I understand it. And I can't force nobody to do anything or anything like that. But I'm always going to try to encourage people to do what I think is the right thing and what I consider stopping the hedonistic cycle is what I like to call it. And so, like, I'm, I'm always going to, like, do that. Like, I'm always going to preach for people to – it's just hedonism, living in their, in their pleasure. That's the I, – I go back to that word all the time because it's the easiest way to explain everything. Like, Stop living in y'all's pleasure. Stop use, letting your dopamine receptor fucking get overused. Mm. Like, it's not healthy. So it's just, uh, and whether that's with social media, it doesn't matter what it is. There's so, like, sometimes I bring up, like, or, or, like, the seven deadly sins and stuff because I like people to realize, you know, these things are bad. Gluttony, you know, eating too much, um, just being lazy. There's a lot of things that people do today, and they're just taking for granted. So it's just, like, I, I, I kind of try to bring up all of it. It's not even just the sex stuff. It can be all of it. Okay. Yeah. Being out there in Dallas, man, is there is there like a lot of opportunity for men to kind of self improve? I guess I mean you don't have to be you know like you don't have to be an entrepreneur like you said like you could be the best plumber, best chef, like whatever it is, bitch, like anything like in business you can actually climb climb the ladder like it's like in the corporate world. Um, like, is do you feel like the internet is just preaching on too much, man? Like just do better, make more money, do this, do that, get in shape and everything. Like everybody's just like a retarded echo that I like to say. Um, is, is that helping men at all? Or, or you think this has to be like a different way on, on trying to get steps. Cause every man is different. Like, even though we know that that's the end goal, but is there a different way that everybody should like, like view it? Yes. Yes. A thousand percent. I, uh, and this is why I started the show in Dallas to show women were different, you know, mm. to show there's a different path in life. Like I'm going to start a program. Like whenever I start my program, what I'm pre- preaching is 401ks, how to max out your mm. 401k, your IRA, your HSA, okay. how to, how to uh, arrange it, like how to do everything <laughs> financially. Because I, I had a father that was extremely successful, but he looked up to Warren Buffett. Like he just had a very good federal job and saved a lot of money. Like, he was just that type of, like, he, you know, he bought into property like most people do, especially after the 2008 crisis. Everybody yeah. got rich out if, they, if they were in the right position at that time, you know. And so, like, I, I really preach men to do, to take that route. And, like, you need a relationship to start a lot of these type of goals. Like, even if you wanted to start doing the house stuff, it's a lot easier to start doing that stuff with a fucking badass teammate. <laughs> your girl yeah, you know yeah. like having a, a bomb girl that's like working like with you in some way to make it to where y'all can get those houses and make that to happen more the whole nother person's credit a whole nother person mm-hmm. you know for everything mm-hmm. so like 
people really are like it's funny because they like preach certain things like myron talks a lot about you know like you should um buy all these houses or do or do all this stuff and 90 95 percent of the people watching probably can't do the stuff that he's Man, trying to teach when it comes to that still stuff. Yeah, yeah, like, no, I agree. Uh-huh. it drives me crazy too because like he knows this because he had just a regular government job before and he wasn't buying properties before he started doing that after he started making this crazy money because anybody even if you got a six-figure job you know how hard it is to exactly. even just get into that game exactly. like unless you unless you're privileged and that's the problem today there's tons of people that are privileged and tons of people that aren't like they have some type of family privilege like i got kicked out at 18 so like i've never been able to fall back on anything and that's made me super like non-reliant on anything and i and i and i can always point i can always figure out how people made their money or how they got somewhere and like and it's almost always because of some type of privilege and it really drives yeah. me crazy because those are the people finessing everybody else they're they're the biggest finessers they're, they're the making it seem like they did all the hard work yeah, so they look like yeah. they have a business that's this big business, and it's not. Like, their parents just helped them do that, you know? Like, and then next thing you know, they're finessing people even though their product sucks, you know? Like, I really hate mm. I really hate privilege more than anything in this world. Like, it drives me crazy. 